this video, we're going to start digging into relationships between variables related to gases, the so-called empirical gas laws. And what we're going to do is look at each pair of variables, assuming all of the other variables are held constant through the experimental setup, allowing us to isolate the relationship between the two variables in question. And we're going to start by looking at pressure and temperature. So imagine we started with a gas in a rigid vessel that is closed such that gas particles cannot get in or out. This means we're in a constant number of moles and constant volume situation. So we can look at the effect of pressure on temperature or vice versa. And what we find is that as we heat the gas, the pressure increases in a linear way. P is equal to some constant of proportionality. I'm just calling it K for the time being. It will be revealed in due time. P is equal to K times T. Another way to write this equation is to appreciate the fact that P divided by T must be a constant, regardless of the pressure and temperature. So we can write this in a kind of multi-state or multi-point form as P1 divided by T1 must equal P2 divided by T2. In words, the pressure divided by the temperature must be a constant. And as I alluded to earlier, this only works if we think about the temperature in units of Kelvin. That is key. This is called Hamilton's law, and it's an important empirical gas law for pressure and temperature. On a graph, Hamilton's law looks like this. If we plot pressure as a function of temperature, we get a straight line. And the constant of proportionality is the slope of this line, and that slope is related to the number of moles we have and the volume of the container. Again, the specifics of that relationship will be revealed in due time, but you probably already have a pretty good idea of how those relate to the slope right here. Now let's consider volume and temperature, keeping pressure and number of moles constant. How do we keep pressure constant? Number of moles we know to keep constant, we simply close the container not allowing any gas molecules to escape. To keep pressure constant, we need a vessel with elastic walls that can grow or shrink as the internal pressure changes, as the internal temperature of the gas changes is another way to think about it. And the idea here is we need to use a balloon. A balloon in an external pressure of one atmosphere will stay at one atmosphere as the walls grow and shrink in response to changing temperature or number of moles. Let's imagine we place a sample of gas in a closed balloon and we begin to heat it. What happens to the volume inside the balloon? It increases in a linear way. In equation form, the volume inside the balloon is equal to some constant of proportionality times the temperature. And here again, that temperature is in Kelvin. The multi-state form uses the idea that V divided by T must be equal to a constant. K, so V1 divided by T1, must equal V2 divided by T2, regardless of the volume and temperature in a given state. And again, when we plot volume as a function of temperature, we get a straight line where the slope of that line is related to the number of moles of gas in our setup and the pressure of the gas in our setup. This is called Charles' Law. Finally, let's look at pressure and volume. Pressure and volume are distinct from the previous two relationships in that they are inversely related when the other variables are held constant. So a constant number of moles, closed container, constant temperature, something like a thermostat controlled room, pressure times volume now is equal to a constant. And the multi-state form uses this idea. Pressure times volume is a constant regardless of what the pressure and volume are. So P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. And the experimental setup you can think of as something like a syringe connected to a pressure gauge. So it's a closed system, no gas can escape, it's in a temperature controlled room, and we can change the volume by sliding the plunger up and down and observe the effect on the pressure. And when we do that, we get a graph like you see right here with pressure increasing as the volume decreases as we move from the right to the left is one way to think about it, or the pressure decreasing as the volume increases as we move to the right. If we plot one over the pressure as a function of the volume, we end up with a straight line, suggesting this inverse relationship. And the slope of that line is this constant of proportionality, and as we've seen, that's related to the number of moles of gas in the setup and the temperature. Avogadro's law relates the volume of a gas and its number of moles at constant pressure and temperature. So here we're thinking about constant pressure, a balloon, 
and a constant temperature situation in a temperature controlled room. And to adjust the number of moles, imagine we've got an air pump connected to this balloon so that we can pump in moles of gas. As we do that, we find that the volume of the balloon increases linearly. V equals K times N. K is that constant of proportionality and is the slope of this line on the graph. And the multi-state form uses the idea that V divided by N is equal to a constant, K. So V1 divided by N1 must equal V2 divided by N2. This is called Avogadro's law and was actually instrumental in Avogadro's observations that led to his theory that matter is made up of small atoms and molecules.